Good morning. Say the entrance antithon for Bishop Nicholas. I will look after my sheep, says the Lord, and I will appoint a shepherd to pasture them. And I, the Lord, will be their God. Let's begin in the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. My brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts, in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do through my fault through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and the saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring each of us one day to life everlasting. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. The Lord have mercy. The ornament we put on our Jesse wreath this morning is the coat of many colors. The good news is that the story about Joseph and his brothers ends well. Joseph does end up by being in charge, but it helps save his family, just like the story of Jesus. Jesus is sold for 30 pieces of silver and then killed. But he comes back to life and is king over the whole world. The people that hated Jesus are the same people that he came to save. Do you know who those people are? They are you and me. Let us pray. We humbly implore your mercy, Lord. Protect us in all dangers through the prayers of the Bishop St. Nicholas, that the way of salvation may lie open before us. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. The first reading is a reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. The desert and the parched land will exalt. The steppe will rejoice and bloom. They will bloom with abundant flowers and rejoice with joyful song. The glory of Lebanon will be given to them, the splendor of Carmel and Sharon. They will see the glory of the Lord, the splendor of our God. Strengthen the hands that are feeble. Make firm the knees that are weak. Say to those who are frightened, be strong, fear not. Here is your God. He comes with vindication. With divine recompense, he comes to save you. Then will the eyes of the blind be opened, the ears of the deaf be cleared. Then will the lame leap like a stag. Then a tongue of the mute will sing. Streams will burst forth in the desert and rivers in the steppe. The burning sands will become poles and the thirsty ground springs of water. The abode where jackals lurk will be a marsh for the the reed and the papyrus. A highway will be there called the Holy Way. No one unclean may pass over it, nor fools go astray on it. No lion will be there, nor beast of prey go up to be met upon it. It is for those with a journey to make, and on it the redeemed will walk. Those whom the Lord has ransomed will return and enter Zion singing, crowned with everlasting joy. They will meet with joy and gladness, and sorrow and mourning will flee. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our God will come to save us. Our God will come to save us. 
I will hear what God proclaims, the Lord, for he proclaims peace to his people. Near indeed is his salvation to those who fear him, glory dwelling in our land. Our God will come to save us. Kindness and truth shall meet, justice and peace shall kiss. Truth shall spring out of the earth and justice shall look down from heaven. Our God will come to save us. The Lord himself will give his benefits. Our land shall yield its increase. Justice shall walk before him and salvation along the ways of his steps. Our God will come to save us. My brothers and sisters, may our Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. One day as Jesus was teaching, Pharisees and teachers of the law who had come from every village of Galilee and Judah and Jerusalem were sitting there. The power of the Lord was with him for healing. And some men brought on a stretcher, a man who was paralyzed. They were trying to bring him in and set him in his presence. But not finding a way to bring him in because of the crowd, they went up on the roof and lowered him on the stretcher through the tiles into the middle in front of Jesus. When Jesus saw their faith, he said, As for you, your sins are forgiven. Then the scribes and the Pharisees began to ask themselves, Who is this who speaks such blasphemies? Who but God alone can forgive sins? Jesus knew their thoughts and said to them in reply, What are you thinking in your hearts? Which is easier to say, Your sins are forgiven? Or to say, rise and walk. But that you may know that the Son of Man has authority on earth to forgive sins, he said to the one who was paralyzed, I say to you, rise, pick up your stretcher, and go home. He stood up immediately before them, picked up what he had been lying on, and went home glorifying God. Then astonishment seized them all, and they glorified God. And struck with awe, they said, We have seen incredible things today. The gospel of the Lord. And so today we celebrate the feast of St. Nicholas. And Nicholas, of course, we have made him Santa Claus throughout the years because he took care of others. He brought gifts to others. He did other things to save others. Always others-centered. And he got that, of course, and the reason he's a saint is because he got that from God. Huh? Here we hear in the first reading, you know, it's a good part of Isaiah when he talks about strengthen the hands or are feeble, make firm the knees that are weak. Say to those whose hearts are frightened, be strong, fear not. Here is your God. So first of all, for us, we got to hear that word. The God is out to heal us. God is out to tell us not to be afraid. God is out to help us. And then we got to proclaim that. He says, so say to those who are frightened, fear not, be not afraid, be strong. We always have a choice. We can look at God as he's going to come in three days of darkness and he's going to destroy us all and it's going to be really bad. That's one way of looking at it. But we can see a God who comes to heal us, to save us, to forgive us our sins. And then once we get the image of who God truly is, The God who leaves heaven, becomes a baby, dies on the cross to save us from our sins. That's who God really is. Or once we accept that, then we got to make sure that that's who we proclaim to other people. This is who our God is. And we speak to others. Be strong. Fear not. We don't condemn others. We don't put others down in the name of God. We heal them the way Jesus did, the way St. Nicholas did, and the way, hopefully, all of us will do. May each you know his love today and forever. Amen. Let us stand and let us give to God these, our needs, and our petitions. We pray, as always, for our Holy Father, Pope Francis. We pray for all bishops, all priests, all religious women and men. They would bring healing and speak God's strength and truth. We pray to the Lord. Let's pray for all world leaders. They would work for peace and for justice. We pray to the Lord. 
Pray for the end of the curse of abortion. All abortion clinics will close forever. We pray God's gentle mercy on anyone who's had an abortion or helped someone have an abortion. We pray to the Lord. We beg God for more vocations of the priest turn religious life, especially from our parish. We pray to the Lord. We pray for those who are sick, especially anyone with the coronavirus, that Jesus would reach out his hand and heal them as he did today, the sick man. We pray to the Lord. We pray for all those who have died. Remember all the poor souls in purgatory. Remember all the priests and religious on this their anniversary of their death, especially Deacon Terry Schmader. And we remember most especially this morning for John O'Malley, for whom this Mass is being offered. They would all know God's life and love now forever in heaven. We pray to the Lord. It's now at our own intentions in the silence of our hearts. We pray to the Lord. Father, thank you for hearing us. We know that you always hear us. Help us to know you are the God who forgives us, who saves us, and heals us. May we proclaim that to all people. We beg you these things, Holy Father, in Jesus' name, amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, yet will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God who is our almighty Father. Look with favor, Lord, we pray, on the offerings we set upon this sacred altar, that on this feast day of blessed St. Nicholas, that bestowing on us your pardon, our oblations may give honor to your name. Through Christ our Lord, amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God. For you are praised in the company of your saints, and in crowning their merits, you crown your own gifts. By their way of life, you offer us an example. By communion with them, you give us companionship. By their intercession, sure support, so that encouraged by so great a cloud of witnesses, We may run as victors in the race before us and win with them the imperishable crown of glory through Christ our Lord. And so with the angels and the archangels, with the great multitude of all the saints, we sing the hymn of your praise as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord. You are the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body 
and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, he broke it and he gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it. That this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, to pour it out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, save us, O Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Lawrence, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, that we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. For it is through him, with him, in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil deliver us Lord we pray from every evil graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior Jesus Christ. For the kingdom and the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sin but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. 
Lamb of God. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. For those of you at home, as always, I received Jesus this morning in your name. But again, I ask you to make an act of faith and an act of spiritual communion. Begin by just saying, Lord Jesus Christ, I believe that you are God. And I believe that you became a man and you died on the cross to take away our sins. Thank you, Lord Jesus Christ, for dying for me. Jesus, I believe that you're truly present in the most blessed sacrament. And since I cannot receive you now physically, I beg you, come into my heart spiritually. Come into my heart, take control of my life. Be my Lord and God and Savior. Fill me with your Holy Spirit and make me your disciple. I love you, Lord Jesus Christ, and I surrender my life to you forever as you have surrendered your life for me. I'll just close your eyes and ask the Lord to embrace you. Feel Jesus put his arms around you. Put your head on his chest. Listen to his heartbeat. Every time his heart beats, he says, I love you. Let Jesus Christ now love you. It was not you who chose me, says the Lord, 
But I who chose you and appointed you to go and to bear fruit, fruit that will last. Let us pray. Renewed by the sacred mysteries, we humbly pray, O Lord, that following the example of blessed St. Nicholas, we may strive to profess what he believed and to practice what he taught. Through Christ our Lord, amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless, keep, and protect you, he who is Father and Son and Holy Spirit, amen. Go in peace. Have a blessed day.